The gram formula mass, GFM, of a substance is known as the mass of one mole. Not the mole that you'd find in the ground, but meaning one of that particular substance that we look at when we work out the formula. The relative atomic mass of selected elements can be found on page 7 of the National 5 SQA data booklet. These can be used to calculate the gram formula mass of a substance. This lesson focuses on working out the gram formula mass for one mole of a complex formula compound, which usually ends in 8 or 8. There's a couple of rules that we have to follow that are similar to the previous videos. Rule number one, we have to write down the formula of your compound using the SVS, DF or the prefix method and you need to make sure that you put a box around it. Remember, this formula is usually given to you in past paper questions. Number two, we write a list of all the elements that we have in the formula. And three, we identify how many of each element we have by looking at the number directly after the chemical symbol. Remember, if there's no number, that just means that we have one. We then need to use page seven of the SQA data booklet to identify the relative atomic mass of the element and multiply it by how many of that particular element you have. The last step is to add up the total mass, which is equal to the gram formula mass or the GFM. For this example, we want to calculate the gram formula mass for aluminium sulfate. It ends in eight, so we're going to have to use page eight of our data booklet. We start off with our SVSDF. The symbol for aluminium is AL. It's found in group three, valency three. Sulfate, we use page eight. The chemical symbols are SO4, and we need to keep a bracket around that. The valency is two. Swap the valencies over. Highest number both can be divided by to keep it a whole number is one. Two divided by one is two. Three divided by one is three. So the chemical formula is Al2 bracket SO4 close bracket three. So now that we've got the formula, we can work out the gram formula mass. So we take down each of the elements. Aluminium, how many do we have from our chemical formula? We have two. We use page seven of our data booklet and we look up the relative atomic mass, which is 27. Two times 27 equals 54. How many sulfurs do we have? Well, at this stage, we need to see how many we've got in the bracket. We've got one multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is three. Then we look up the relative atomic mass of sulfur on page seven of the data booklet, and it has a relative atomic mass of 32. One times three is three. Three times 32 equals 96. Oxygen, how many do we have inside the bracket? We've got four multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is three. We use page seven of our data booklet and we find that the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16. Four times three equals 12. 12 times 16 equals 192. When we add all those numbers up, we get a gram formula mass of 342 grams. Calculate the gram formula mass of aluminium dichromate. It ends in eight, so we're going to have to use page eight to work out the formula. We start off with our SVSDF. Symbol for aluminium is AL. It's found in group three, valency three. Dichromate has the chemical symbols Cr2O7. We need to remember to keep a bracket around that. It's got a valence of two. We swap the valences over. Highest number both can be divided by is one. Two divided by one is two. Three divided by one is three. So the chemical formula is Al2 bracket Cr2O7 close bracket three. Now we're going to work out the GFM. How many aluminiums do we have in the formula? We have two times by the relative atomic mass, which can be found on page seven, which is 27, 
2 times 27 equals 54. Chromium, symbol is CR. How many do we have inside the bracket? We have 2. Multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 3. We look up page 7 and we see that the relative atomic mass of chromium is 52. 2 times 3 equals 6, times 52 equals 312. Oxygen, the symbol is O. How many do we have inside the bracket? We've got 7, multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 3. Multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which can be found on page 7, which is 16. 7 times 3 equals 21. 21 times 16 equals 336. When we add all those numbers up, we get a GFM of 702 grams. Calculate the gram formula mass for calcium hydroxide. Now, be careful. Although this ends in 8, it's one of the tricky ones which is found on page 8. So we start off with our SVSDF. The symbol for calcium is CA. It's found in group 2, valency 2. Hydroxide is not an element. We find it on page 8. The symbol is OH and we need to remember to keep a bracket around it. Valency 1. Swap the valencies over. Highest number both can be divided by is 1. So the chemical formula is CA bracket OH close bracket 2. To work out the GFM, we take down each of the entities. The symbol for calcium is CA. How many do we have in the formula? We have 1 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which can be found on page 7, which is 40. 1 times 40 equals 40. Oxygen has a sim chemical symbol O. How many do we have inside the bracket? We've got 1 multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 2 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which can be found on page 7, which is 16. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 16 equals 32. Hydrogen has the symbol H. How many do we have inside the bracket? We've got 1 multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 2, multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which can be found on page 7, which is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. When we add up those numbers, we get a GFM of 74 grams. This is the last worked example, and we want to calculate the gram formula mass for ammonium carbonate. This one's tricky because it's made up of two group ions. We start with our SVSDF. Using page 8, the chemical symbol for ammonium is NH4. We keep it in a bracket and the valency is 1. Carbonate has the symbols CO3. We keep a bracket around it. Valency 2. Swap the valencies over. Highest number both be, can be divided by to keep it a whole number is 1. Which means that the chemical formula is bracket NH4 close bracket 2 bracket CO3 close bracket. Now I know that we can usually take the brackets away but for this example I'm going to keep them there to make it a little bit easy for us. Now let's work out the gram formula mass. Nitrogen, the symbol is N. How many do we have inside the bracket? We have 1 multiplied by the number outside the bracket which is 2 and then we times it by the relative atomic mass which can be found on page 7 which is 14. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 14 is 28. Hydrogen, how many do we have inside the bracket? We have 4, multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 2, times by the relative atomic mass of hydrogen, which is 1. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 1 equals 8. Carbon, the chemical symbol is C. How many do we have inside the bracket? We have 1 multiplied by the number outside the bracket. Well, there's no number outside the bracket, so we assume 1. Times by the relative atomic mass, which can be found on page 7, which is 12. 1 times 1 is 1. 
1 times 12 equals 12. Oxygen, simple as O. How many do we have inside the bracket? We have 3. Multiply by the number outside the bracket. There's no number, so that represents 1. Times by the relative atomic mass, which can be found on page 7 of your data booklet, which is 16. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 16 equals 48. When we add all those numbers up, ammonium carbonate has a GFM of 96 grams. Now, in past papers, you will be given the chemical formula for the substance that you have to work out the GFM for. However, for a bit of practice, eh, I have got three different compounds which use the group ions. And what I would like you to do is to work out the chemical formula first and then to have a go at working out the gram formula mass. So if you want to pause the video, um, when you're ready, you can resume and the answers will pop up on the screen for you. questions from the Intermediate 2 2002 past paper, multiple choice 7. What is the relative formula mass of ammonium sulphate? And the formula is given as bracket NH4 close bracket 2 SO4. The first thing that we have to do is take down each of the elements from the formula. We have nitrogen. How many do we have inside the bracket? We have one multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 2, times by the relative atomic mass, which can be found on page 7 of the data booklet, which is 14. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 14 is 28. Hydrogen, how many do we have inside the bracket? We have 4, multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 2, multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which can be found on page 7 of the data booklet, which is 1. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 1 is 8. Sulphur, how many do we have inside the bracket? We have 1, multiplied by the number outside the bracket. Well, there is no number after the bracket, which it tells us we only have 1. Times by the relative atomic mass of sulphur, which is 32. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 32 is 32. Oxygen, how many do we have inside the bracket? We have 4 multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 1, multiplied by 16, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 16 equals 64. When we add those up, we get a relative atomic mass of 132 grams. So the correct answer is multiple choice answer C.